When we're looking at assessing a bridge, the thing that I like to do is ask the performer just to do it how they normally do it, rather than cueing them too much. This can give you so much information. Some of them will handstand into it, some of them will drop into it from standing, some will come into it in a circular movement. So first just ask them to show you their full bridge and see what happens before you start cueing it. So can you just show me how you go up into a full bridge or wheel? Beautiful. Excellent. Perfect, yep, and then coming back down. Great, excellent. So this is what you'd ideally like to see. I would much rather you press up into it from this position. If we do it from a walkover or a handstand, we can often fall into it. There's a lot of pressure in the low back, but a lot of young students, that's the only way they know to get into it, often because they don't have a lot of strength and control in the shoulders, but also because they've never been taught. They've accidentally discovered it when they've fallen out of a handstand, and so that's what they continue to do. Some things that we want to keep in mind if we are doing it from the ground, making sure that the feet are nicely placed in parallel. A lot of people will tend to turn Turn the feet out, especially once they're at the top, to create a wider base of support. This can put a lot of pressure on the inside of the knees, so we don't want that. We want to make sure that we keep the thighs in line. If you have young students and their knees tend to pop off out to the side, putting in a yoga block or a small ball can really help with that. And a lot of them start to shake uncontrollably when you do this. So really good to just practice the pelvic rolls with the ball in place, if that's the case. The other area that you want to keep a really close eye on is their ability to sequence through the spine. Some of them will just lift up as a plank, some will flex the low back but then not work through the upper back. So can you just go through the articulated bridge part? You want to make sure that we're peeling up a little bit at a time the whole way through and then the same thing on the roll back down that they're using every moment and every chance they can to really help get that good spinal articulation. Yeah. The other thing that I really want you to watch is what they do with their shoulders and their head. So some people when they go up will actually balance on their head to reorganize their hand. We, our head is not designed to be a load bearing structure so please don't put load through it. The other thing we need to watch is the passage and pressing up. So if we place the hands up Yep, and rolling up and place the hands. Now do the slidey version first. So some people will slide back before coming up and over. Yep, and then they'll come down by coming off their hands this way. This may be if they have weak triceps or their shoulder stability isn't so great or their shoulder range isn't so great. So keep an eye out for that. Can we do a good one of pressing directly up? So rolling up through the spine, place the hands and make sure they can lift up from that position. Beautiful. Really try and carry up and forward over the hands, much nicer for the wrists. And keep an eye on this beautiful, smooth line. We want to see a good upper back extension, so not all the load goes into the low back. Really nice and controlled, and they can breathe while they're there. Then slowly coming back down. Beautiful. And rippling all the way down. Also keep an eye out if they come out of it and start rolling the wrists and playing with the wrists. It's an indicator that they haven't got enough wrist strength to support in that position. We really want to make sure that we've got that little bit of a dome on the end to really help support, especially hypermobile wrists. If you notice they're always rolling the wrists when they come out, probably a good idea to do some wrist strengthening to help support it. So make sure you have all of your observations going on. Good idea to film them. Often you'll see things in filming that you won't necessarily pick up in real life. And then you can play it a few times in order to get all of those details. You don't want to make them do it 10 times to capture everything, but really good to assess what is the restriction on this performer so that you can tailor their program to be the most effective for improving it.